Hey everyone, it's Simeus. Dealing with depression can often feel isolating, like you're trapped in an echo chamber of your own thoughts. But I want you to know that you're not alone in this journey. Millions of people experience depression, and there is hope, there is help, and there is light at the end of the tunnel. In this video, we're going to explore seven powerful ways to help you navigate through depression and rediscover your inner strength. Sometimes, the most important step is acknowledging that we need a little help. Seeking professional help is not a sign of weakness, but a testament to your strength and your commitment to feeling better. Think of it like having a knowledgeable guide on a challenging hike. Therapists and counsellors are trained to understand the complexities of depression and can provide you with personalised strategies and coping mechanisms to manage your symptoms. They can help you identify the root causes of your depression challenge negative thought patterns, and develop a roadmap to recovery. Okay, I know it might seem counterintuitive when you're feeling down, but trust me on this one. Exercise is like a magic potion for your brain. When you engage in physical activity, your brain releases endorphins, which have mood-boosting effects. It doesn't have to be anything too intense, even a brisk walk in nature a dance session in your living room, or some gentle yoga can make a world of difference. The key is to find an activity you enjoy and make it a regular part of your routine. Think of it as a gift you give yourself, a moment to prioritize your well-being and move your body towards a brighter state of mind. Hey everyone, Simeus here. And let's face it, when you're feeling down, a bag of chips or a pint of ice cream can seem really comforting. But the truth is, what we eat has a huge impact on how we feel. It's like putting the wrong kind of fuel in a car, it just won't run right. So what can we do? Well, just like we talked about exercise, small changes can make a big difference. Try incorporating more fruits, vegetables and whole grains into your diet. These foods are like little superheroes for your brain, providing essential nutrients that can help regulate your mood. Think of it like this. You wouldn't skip putting oil in your car, right? You need that to keep things running smoothly. It's the same with your brain and body. These healthy foods are like the oil, keeping everything functioning at its best. And listen, I know it can be tough to break old habits, but even small changes can make a difference. Start by adding a piece of fruit to your breakfast or swapping out a sugary snack for a handful of nuts. Your brain will thank you for it. Remember, taking care of your body is an act of self-love. And sometimes, self-love means choosing the apple over the apple pie. You got this. Let's talk about sleep, or more specifically, the lack thereof. We all know the feeling of waking up after a bad night's sleep. Groggy, irritable, and just not ourselves. Now imagine feeling that way most of the time. Not fun, right? When we're struggling with depression, sleep can be our best friend or our worst enemy. A good night's sleep can make us feel more energized, positive, and better equipped to handle life's challenges. On the other hand, poor sleep can worsen symptoms of depression, leaving us feeling drained and hopeless. So how do we improve our sleep hygiene? It's all about creating a consistent sleep schedule, even on weekends. Try to go to bed and wake up around the same time each day to regulate your body's natural sleep-wake cycle. Make sure your bedroom is dark, quiet and cool, and avoid screens for at least an hour before bedtime. Think of it like training for a marathon. You wouldn't just run 20 miles without any practice. You have to train your body and mind to get ready for a good night's sleep. Remember, establishing a healthy sleep routine is an investment in your mental well-being. So, tuck yourself in, turn off the lights, and let your body and mind recharge. Humans are social creatures. We crave connection, belonging, and the support of others. And yet, when depression hits, it can be tempting to isolate ourselves from the world, to retreat into our own little bubbles of sadness. But here's the thing. Isolation often makes depression worse. It's like being stuck in a dark room with our negative thoughts, and the only way out is to open the door and let some light in. That light, my friends, comes from connecting with others. It doesn't have to be anything grand or complicated. 
It could be as simple as calling a friend, having lunch with a family member, or even joining an online support group. The important thing is to break free from that isolation and remind yourself that you're not alone in this. Think of it like a campfire. When you're alone, the fire can die down, but when you add more logs, the fire burns brighter. The same goes for our social connections. They add fuel to our lives. So reach out, connect and let others in. You might be surprised by how much brighter your world becomes. Hey guys, Simeus here. So we've talked about therapy, exercise, diet, sleep and connecting with others. All super important, but let's face it, sometimes our brains just won't quit with the negative thought loop, right? That's where mindfulness and meditation come in. No, I'm not talking about levitating monks or anything, though that would be cool. Mindfulness is about being present, like, really. Paying attention to your breath, your senses, without judgment. Meditation can help with that, giving your mind a little vacation from the worry train. There are tons of apps and guided meditations out there. It can feel weird at first, but like anything worthwhile, it takes practice. Okay, remember that thing you used to love doing? The one that made you forget about everything else for a while? Yeah, that thing. That's the power of hobbies, my friends. Depression can make it hard to find the energy or motivation, I know. But even starting small, like listening to your favorite music, reading a few pages or doodling, can make a difference. It's not about being good at it. It's about the process, the escape, the little spark of joy it brings. Trust me, your inner child will thank you. So, there you have it. Seven ways to battle depression like a karaoke champion. From professional help to belting out your heart on stage, or you know, in your shower, remember, you're not alone. Take it one day, one song, one breath at a time. And if it all feels overwhelming, please reach out for help. You are stronger than you think, and you deserve to find joy. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos on mental health and well-being. You've got this!